Hey, Counting Your Life Math and History, and we are gonna take a look at the reflexive property. This is gonna be a short video because what this one is all about is any angle or segment that is congruent to itself. Wait, what? But why do we have to do this video if we already know if an angle is or segment is congruent to itself? Well, which of these angles seems to have two angles? Well, if you take a look at angle V and you make a triangle that goes this way to the left, Grab a different color, let's say purple. Drag it to the right way. You can see that these two colors right here are going to merge. Therefore, there are one, two angles. So we can directly say that since it's congruent to itself, angle V is going to be congruent to angle V. But why do we even need this property? Well, here's one triangle and here's two triangles. We can say that tri yeah, triangle V we can say triangle TVX is going to be congruent to triangle OVA. And the reason why we can say that if we wanted to prove that these two triangles are congruent is we can say reflexive property and if you ever use the symbols for the proof, then you would have to literally use the word reflexive. <clears throat> if two triangles are sharing the same angle and they merge like this, and you have to prove they're congruent, you can say reflexive because any angle or segment is congruent to itself. And look it is. It literally is. I hope this video has helped you understand the reflexive property. Thank you for watching Chopping Your Life in the Math Industry. Like and subscribe.